On behalf of expertvillage.com, my name is Stan, and I'm here to tell you about community theater. Um, I want to talk about costumes for a few minutes. Costumes are uh, acquired in all sorts of different ways for a community theater production, and this last show that Verde Valley Theater did, uh, Run for Your Wife, was a good example. We had quite a variety of costumes in this show. We had uh, men's suits. Uh, some of these were donated to us. Uh, some of these we acquired at Goodwill Industries, and if you go to your local thrift shop, you can find lots of clothing and other things for the set, too, props and so on. Thrift shops are an excellent source. Um, some of the the costumes were supplied by the actors themselves. That's always nice because we know they're going to fit. And then some of the costumes were made for the actors by uh, the person who was in charge of costumes for this show. Uh, one of the actors in this play played a police officer who, in a sort of a funny scene, decided, they decided to have tea, and he went into the kitchen to make tea, and he needed to come out wearing uh, an apron. So this, this apron was, uh, was made for him by our costume mistress. Um, we had another fellow in the play was pa painting his apartment upstairs. You never see the apartment, but he keeps coming back into the set. More and more paint all over him as more and more paint spills and gets splashed around and so on. So he had a whole series of costumes with different stages of paint staining on them that he would change from one to the next as the play progressed. And so we had people having a lot of fun putting the paint on the T-shirts and the pants and so on. And uh, he had a lot of fun with the pants. At the end, he put a big handprint on. <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun with costumes. Uh, and uh, as I say, there are all sorts of sources for them. Makeup is the same thing. The most important thing with makeup is keeping it organized. And you need somebody in charge of just keeping the makeup stocked and keeping it. Every actor should have their own box of makeup uh, so that they feel it's sanitary and they know what makeup they're going to use and it doesn't get all mixed up and so on. Um, the big problem you have with costumes and props, uh, too, for that matter, is storage space. And we'll talk more about the storage space problems and how to solve those uh, when we talk about props.